you need to dispense a ton of information, it is hard to beat a montage. Now's the time! Look out, here comes a disjointed explosion of facts and observations. Born from the Model 3, the Tesla Model Y is a compact electric SUV with a maximum 316 mile range, according to the EPA, and a starting price around $54,000 for the long range model, including $1,200 in destination charges. The performance model, like our tester, is eight grand more, but aren't zero to 60 times at 3.5 seconds worth it? Mm -hmm. A roughly $40,000 standard model should arrive sometime in 2021. Heads up, this particular Model Y is an actual customer car, so it represents what you might actually buy yourself. Just ignore the fake carbon interior trim and the probably not legal window tint. Slip inside and the interior feels incomplete. No gauge cluster, extreme simplicity, take that Scandinavia. The interior is roomier than the Model 3 because the roof is higher. In back, the rear seats recline unlike the Model 3. Boy, that's comfy. Seated behind myself, I fit great. The Model Y's glass roof is cool, but you'll definitely feel the sun on hot days. Looks slightly right from the driver's seat, and you'll find critical information on the 15-inch center screen. Looking here rather than here is a little bit weird, but you will adapt quickly. Speaking of the screen, Tesla has done an exemplary job arranging the essential functions. Good thing, because besides the seats, nearly all aspects of the vehicle are controlled through here. Like in the Model 3, the steering wheel controls don't just handle audio, they're also used for adjusting the mirrors and for moving the steering wheel. Oh yeah, listen to those robot noises. If that sounds confusing, it is not. Same deal with using the screen to control the vents. It all just works. If only Tesla would add support for Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, this would be my favorite infotainment setup, bar none. We haven't even talked about the web browser, built-in games, the climate controls dog mode, sentry mode for monitoring shady behavior around your vehicle, downloadable updates that add things like traffic light recognition, and all the other sweet details Tesla bakes into their interface. I especially like the track's music sequencer. <laughs> Here's hoping I don't get sued by the postal service. The music people, not the male people. Then we have Autopilot, that's Tesla's driving assist system. It works really well when it's working really well. Though it ably manages the throttle, brakes, steering, and can make lane changes, Autopilot can also get confused, just like human drivers. So please, no sleeping at the wheel. I'll also add that Autopilot does an unexpectedly amazing job detecting trash cans. Owen Wilson, wow. Wing an extra $7,000 at Tesla, and you can unlock full self-driving capabilities. Enhancing the Y's skill roster with automatic parking and lane change functions, summon remote vehicle retrieval using Tesla's app, and automatic on-ramp to off-ramp freeway driving. Again, though it's labeled full self-driving, Teslas do not fully drive themselves. Again, no sleeping behind the wheel. While we're in motion, I'll note that the Model Y drives a lot like a Model 3. A low-mounted battery pack means a low center of gravity, helping the Model Y trace corners with tenacious competence. And just like the Model 3, the Model Y feels stable in a straight line, but has a sporting quick ratio off-center. It pays to drive with precision, because little adjustments make big changes in your trajectory. Then there's the acceleration. If you don't already know, electric torque can be fun. Let's verify the Model Y's accelerative fun quotient. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fun. Uh -huh. Smooth, relentless thrust is your reward for driving electric. Bask in its silent intensity. Stop! We need to take a break from this montage. The pacing is relentless. <sighs> All right, back at it. As the owner of a Model Y, you are empowered to adjust its acceleration and regenerative braking intensity, vehicle creep behavior, and steering efforts. For the record, comfort mode is too light for the quick steering ratio, in my opinion. I'd keep it on normal or above. And now, an even more random selection of observations. Outward visibility is bad rearward, but fine elsewhere. To unlock the doors, you use this valet key card or your phone. 
Like other Teslas, there's no start button. You just put your foot on the brake, put it in drive, and go. Cargo space is ample in back. The seats offer a center pass-through, look out for that little bar, and they can be folded from the cargo area. You can stow more gear in the large underfloor hold or in the frunk up front. The front seats are comfortably supportive and include adjustable lumbar support. More importantly, well-positioned and soft armrests rank high on the Mike Amusio Elbow Comfort Index. Hey, good to see you, squirrel. In back, rear seat foot space is outstanding thanks to elevated front seats. In our car, the left rear seat is hard to flip back up. Despite an abundance of cameras, there is perplexingly no 360 degree view around the vehicle. The rear windows only go down this far. Any color besides white will cost either $1,000 or $2,000. In 2021, you'll be able to add third row seats that, based on the space, you'll want to reserve for the kids. If you're motivated, you can drive your Model Y off-road. Though the one dirt hill in Long Beach isn't much of a challenge. For reference, here's a Toyota Supra going down the same hill. For charging, a standard household outlet is impossibly slow, while a 240 volt charger adds roughly 14 miles of range per hour charged. For fast charging on the go, Tesla's vast supercharging infrastructure is the play. As for quality issues, our car's B pillar trim doesn't fit right, and neither does this lower bumper trim. The rear door alignment is slightly off. The rear seats are similarly uneven and there's a loud rattle coming from somewhere in the back. Among the Model Y's three braking modes, I love hold. You can accelerate and decelerate using just the accelerator in most situations, and the Model Y comes to a perfect buttery smooth stop every single time. And no, you can no longer exploit federal tax incentives when you buy a Tesla. But there might be state incentives depending on where you live. If you're searching for a pragmatic electric vehicle, the Chevy Bolt, Hyundai Kona EV, and Nissan Leaf can all be had for much less than the Model Y, but the Y's premium touches and technical strengths put it in another class. As of when this video was made, the Mustang Mach-E is still a mystery, but depending on when you're watching, it's probably worth a look. As an alternative, you might also consider the Jaguar I-Pace, or hey, how about the Tesla Model 3? It's $4,000 cheaper than the Model Y and quite similar or maybe spring for a Model X if you need more space and want to dazzle children at daycare. I don't know about you, but I'm exhausted. Now I know why we generally keep our montages tight. And now, a montage of our montage. <laughs>